one kg of cooking gas under corruption was 150 naira, but under change it is 650 naira. Deji Adeyanji. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Renowned social media activist Deji Adeyanji has took to his official Facebook page to comment on the outrageous price of cooking gas. Yes, on this particular discussion, well, like this water carry weight, I don't go lie to you. You carry weight, no be small. There is nobody that will tell you that he or she is not wild or is not. How am I going to put it? I don't even know the right word to use right now. That one kg of gas that used to be how much? People were saying cooking gas was far better, was economical. But we cannot even say that now. I know the worst. No one is better. Whether you are going to be using a kerosene stove, whether you are going to be using a gas cooker, none of them is better. Is it electricity? You're going to buy a card and you're going to use it just to buy water. Before you know it, fiam. The money, is, the card, before you know the power is, is off. No, you cannot even say, let me use this one. It's not possible. Except you're going to not combine electricity. <laughs> you're going to combine the free. That is when you start making use of it. It will not even work if you are not alone. It will only work for you when you're a bachelor. You know that once your water is, in, is hot enough, once you are cooking, you know, you don't waste. Ah. If you are somebody with a family man who have children that knows how to run these things, of course, you are going to be screaming out your lung on a daily basis because you are going to tell them to watch the way they waste it. There is nobody that is in Nigeria that, that, will not, that, that is not feeling this thing now. I mean, the heat is just too much. The heat is too much. And this is, the, the, I'm just, I even spoke about, okay, from gas, I've even moved to electricity. Electric, electricity zone is even worse. There are some areas where they get to pay for this electricity. They don't even give them the light. I mean, you, you, you pay for a service. You're not giving the service. You are still left to go and buy petrol. PMS for your generating set. That is if you want to do generating set. There are people who said I'm not even cut out for it because of uh, one thing or the other. Then they'll tell you, see, it's solar. It's still big money. So at the end of the day, this change in price or hike in price is affecting. I know the worst. People's salary are not also increasing. People's salary are not increasing. It is still in this generation they will come out and tell you, and uh, you are lazy if you don't do this. And see, people, <laughs> you see this, our government, they are not making things easier. I mean, nobody is even coming out to say, oh, the government should do this, do that. See, there are so many, many people who have ventured into various businesses, and those businesses have crashed because the economy is not thriving. Some people have ventured into production of things, things that are, you know, Things that will, that, that business now, they are into production. At the end of the day, there is no power to do this. And they will come out and tell you how you're a failure. How if you do, in fact, ah, Nigerians, see, don't let anybody rush you. You're going to keep pushing and striving. But don't push yourself to the point where you're going to burn out. Don't allow somebody to come and tell you, eh, if you are this and that and you are this and that, we are not, see, everything is so messed up. Don't allow somebody to tell you that it is the same abroad. When you get to, at least when you pay for something, you get it. You don't give somebody free money at the end of the month. They only give you light for, let's say, 24 hours in the whole of a month. Yes. You pay for things, but as you're paying for them, they're giving you value for your money. You pay your taxes. You see what they use the tax to do, the tax money to do. They do the roads. You will not go and be seeing broken roads now, right? That's it. Let's find out more about what they just said. The news in detail. Please stay with us. Without a doubt, apart from a shelter, one of the most basic needs of human is food. What therefore makes food stops one of the most sought after resources around the world? Before now, an average Nigerian likely depend on kerosene oil to make his or her food through the use of stove. But as the world keeps evolving, Nigerians decided to ditch stoves for gas. Ade and Jews, they just post, reads, One kg of cooking gas under corruption was 150. It is now 650 naira on that change. Somebody replied, 
the change he gets with. But to warn them, them no hear. History has 90% chances of repeating itself. My father told me about this man. I read about him before 2015. I knew he was incompetent, too ethnocentric and too religious to assemble the Nigeria components to be a nation. It's never been this worse. Deji, you don't have work doing. The land you bought under Jonathan and you sold under Buhari, how much was it? Why can't you sell us at the price you bought it? Hypocrisy will kill you. Go back to the Kogi State to contest and make a difference. Your noise and help you will not change anything. There are some people whose opinion on uh, the, way they, the way they come out is their opinion. <laughs> Let's spice things up, but sometimes they are so extreme. Okay. It is so crazy how some still follow this government whose aim is to improvise every. Yes, that, like the comment I just read. <laughs> Believe it or not, there are people who enjoy this tenure. Like, they will tell you they don't even understand what you are saying. That this is, in fact, they don't even want this man to step down. Yes, believe, believe it or not. There are people who this particular phase of, of what we are going through is favoring, like they are cashing out. We don't know how they do it. Money can no longer stay in my hands. The agent of darkness. Another person commented. Anyone supporting this man... Up to this moment, is a fool and remain foolish. <laughs> 765 per kg in Yenugua, where the gas is being produced. Wow. Wow. 650, depending on the area. Here in Cross River, 915 area. Oh, my goodness. Corruption is too much in Nigeria. God help us. However, over the years, there have been several fluctuations in the price of cooking gas to the extent that the amount you feel today might not even be what you feel it another day. While commenting on this, the JJ and you stated that under the former administration, which was widely tagged as corruption, cooking gas was 150 naira. While under the present administration tag change, the price of filling a cooking gas is sitting at 650 and above in some areas. That is just the truth. It is not even... It is not even the same price. In some places you get it that this is 50. In some places you get it far above. Now, before you know, a, a, a will I say, is it a 6kg? <laughs> a 6kg is not going to even last you for, for, how am I going to put it? And it's even worse if you have children. Because you know children they leave water on the fire to boil, they leave things to, on the fire to get burnt. And you know, if you're a parent this period, you scream out your lungs. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.